Well, hi. This is the final boss. I've had a lot of fun doing these uh, little Let's Play game things, so I'm going to do some more. Uh, and so this one was actually requested by the engineer for me to take a another look at um, a more updated version of their Fidget Spinner RPG game. So, yeah, I'm going to give the Fidget Spinner RPG another look. Um, and I do love my Fidget Spinners. I got one here. You know, I have... Uh, I have another th thing that's, you know, for, for ADD folks like myself. So this is a good fit, uh, and I'm excited to, to dive in. Let me see if this will adjust nicely. Okay, cool. So I can see my mouse. I can interact. Um, I wish the music was a little quieter. I'm not streaming this one. I'm just going to do a recording because it's late, and I'm a little sleepy. Well, let's dive in. All right. Ah, uh, no. So window capture doesn't work. It's... Oh, darn, I have to use display capture. So this is another one of the challenges. Whatever this uh, UI setup is doing, it is definitely not... Let me just do... Uh, borderless full screen? Okay, let me, I can take this out of the way here. No, that's not the right one. Is this the right one? Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, sad. Okay, so that's one of the challenges I had last time I uh, played this game was that it uh, did not screen capture very efficiently uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and center this tuck it into the back so I have to use a monitor capture which is a little annoying but it is what it is all right let's go ahead and play this game and let's talk about the mechanics should I continue or start a new one very tempted to continue because the onboarding was low, but I'm going to start a new one because uh, my a complaint with the game last time was the fact that uh, the progression moved quite a bit too slowly. So uh, I want to take a look at that and see if that's changed. Um, El Boss 2, create. All right. I love the the graphical work on this. To the developer, um, you know we're working on some game projects as well, and so uh, if you want to ever give us uh, some graphics and and look and feel consulting, uh, I'm in because I've been very impressed by the aesthetics of this game. Um, <laughs> looks like you started a brief introduction. The basics this is your first time playing. This is highly recommended. Uh, I'm gonna skip that because I do know the basics. Uh, I'm pretty sure I want to skip. Oh, so I like that uh, we added the little ticker up here because they can't spend Albuquerque despite this. So again, these <laughs> this is actually interesting. This is great. Despite the museum has been a roaring success. Um, news. Fidget spinners have a comeback. Thought to be irrelevant. Fad is now somehow relevant again. That's great. I love I love this. This is great, and it gives me because again a lot of what you're trying to do um, with these little things, and I think this could be a little bit wider, right? Like this is uh, right up against the UI, and I'm guessing it's because you're trying to uh, be prepared for mobile. But if if I was you, I'd, I'd have it be a little larger, you know, uh, and maybe set it way up at the top and set your interactive UI. So so again, it, it depends on what you like to do for your your UI. The stuff that I interact with, I kind of want closer to the center. Uh, the stuff that I uh, that's more passive, eh, it just depends, though. It, it depends on, on what you're looking to do. So I do wish this fidget thing do, did start with some of these uh, things in the uh, ready for action. Yep. Uh, some of these things in the quick access, if I press 1 or if I press Q, W, E, R. Um, I wish I could map these to keys still. So I think that's a little bit of a bummer that I have to click them still. Uh, let me go to my settings. I want to have high graphics quality. Gosh darn it. Uh, resume. It looks a little better. I'm going to go to ultra. You know, I didn't get a nice rig for nothing. Gosh darn it. Uh, good resolution. Okay, so there we go. I want this fidget spinner to look super nice. It does. Uh, the the medium, starting on medium was a little rough. Uh, it, did not, it looked a little pixelated, which made me sad. Weak spin. Can I drag this in here? Okay. Yes. I can just click on weak spin. Ah, uh, so it still takes so long. Journey stuff complete. Yay. I do like that I'm getting a few of these completion things a little sooner. 
competency. I already have used light rests. Actually, I don't want these in here. I do like that I can just drag them off. It's all kind of acting in the way I expect. But I wish there was a little number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the top of these things. And when I press 1, it will automatically do this. Because I really like using my keyboard in these types of situations. Could just be me. It might just be me as a, as a different kind of player than the average average uh, person. But, um, oh man, that 5 second cooldown is so brutal. Um... I wonder if ways to if there are ways to balance that a little bit differently, right? Where um, it's getting going, it's getting going. Um, or to get me to something, because like, because essentially every time I'm watching this bar, there is literally nothing else I can do except for queuing actions. Ah, there we go, and now it's opened up. So I wonder if it'll let me do this. Okay, there we go. So I, I do see. Okay, so now you can see multiple abilities. This ability starts with. The, so I don't know if it's because I skipped the tutorial or uh, if because the, the things are moving way, way faster. So I do like that the progression is moving faster, but I am missing a lot of the progression context. But I do think that's because I skipped the tutorial. So now I have my ability crew. This is the passive. Does this even drag in? No. Requires level 7 to 7. Okay. I think that's uh, honestly... The pacing feels a lot better, but I've obviously played this before, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, I would still encourage you as the developer to have another new player that's not me play this and make sure that it still feels... Oops, I don't want to do that. Oh, nice. I like that I can just click to X amount. Uh, that's really nice. Um, so I'm getting my spin cue rolling. New unlock mining. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Continue. You've also unlocked inventory. Here you can access all the items you have in one hand. So I would say, I, I know this is a bit of like, you're probably going to say, like, Jeff, why are you torturing me? Um, yeah, it, it does feel pretty good, though, honestly. It feels a lot better. I still just want to press with the keyboard. Uh, because while I'm queuing something, I want it to, com like, you know, I want it to complete the next one. So I'm going to do a bunch of mining. I think I have to replace this with like a heal, right? So the only other note I have is this iconography. Um, it definitely does not imply rest. It really feels a lot like a heal. And I know it's kind of the same thing, your health bar and your stamina. But I would think about having like a like a like a running figure or something here to, to give me a little bit more clarity. The crescent moon of the man fidget spinners found to cure <laughs> moderate to severe boredom. That's yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> they definitely do. Stones of all shapes and sizes are being collected at an alarming rate. Nature may soon run out of rocks. So I really love, uh, I really love this. This is great. I, I, I did not realize you had such a talent for writing. Um, and I wish I played more idle RPGs to give more suggestions. Because that's the thing. When you're working in a genre, it's totally okay. It, even in writing and gaming and everything to say, what are things that are making this a, a game stand out? pop really speak to the players engage the players um and, and enrich them i also liked and to my knowledge i could be wrong i also liked that it seemed like the mining ones appeared as i got these different unlocks let's qq more qq <laughs> i love that that's great <laughs> um that's awesome anti-rest movement gaining traction in some places Members claim that resting is not natural. Should be avoided. Yeah, I mean, most startups complain that. Uh, most startups say that idea is preposterous. All right, so I've got some. I've got some raw stone. That's good. Oh, this is great. I, so, so again, you might. So the, the initial startup is way better in the faster area. There might be just a smidge of slowing down you're going to have to do. And also for some of these abilities, I would encourage starting, 
you know, because I get these two starting abilities right out of the gate. And so what I'm looking for is a few things. I want to be able to click on the fidget spinner. Uh, and, and it would just be this ability, right? Like this ability can just be, if I click on the fidget spinner, I spin it. I, I, I do truly believe that's really, really important. That I have to have some level of tactile interaction with the object on the screen itself, right? Um, and maybe it goes up to moderate spin. And it just upgrades. So what, you know, like, so for example, switching these out feels a little tedious, why can't I just, why doesn't it just say, hey, like, why doesn't it automatically upgrade? That would be a question to ask. Or at least the fidget spinner could do that, right? Where it starts as the weak spin as like a little uh, icon in the center. Because the center doesn't have to spin, right? The center is motionless as my fingers hold onto it, right? So to some degree, the center can have your weak spin icon on it. And then it can slowly upgrade to a moderate spin. Then it can be an apocalyptic spin and, and so forth. And so the, the other thing that I think you're going to run into, and I have not reached it in this game yet, so I could be wrong, is your end game and long-term progression. So what does that uh, look like? You know, so if I just do, I just do this now here. Boop, 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 boop. So I do think this cue is so handy. So then, so again... I'm literally waiting for bars to complete, so I'm looking up and I'm reading, save the spinner's initiative. Critics argue that it's just a waste of taxpayers' money. Um, I love it. <laughs> Birds aren't real. Birds aren't real! Sticks and stones found to be able to break bones. Yeah. But words' ability to do so is inconclusive. Yeah. If you don't got a cue size of at least 10... You ain't nothing, proclaims popular streamer. Man, I need to get some good streamer quotes, right? I love it. I, 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 I honestly, the top bar is 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 literally just so fun, and I think it adds your personality as a de as a designer. Uh, and and a lot of this, you know, a lot of my feedback will probably be around UI, right? Uh, because this is a very UI heavy game, but you've been able to actually set the game up in a way. Okay, can I get my mining? I need to do more mining. Um, I wonder if this could be off to the side, honestly, or like at least my like... So I want to see my progression, right? So I think, you know, this whole window doesn't have to be, but these bars... Like, at least the ones that are available, and maybe the one that's upcoming to unlock, should probably be visible on the side, right? So, like, I should see competency 10, like, in little, like, sidebars on the side of the window, and that shouldn't be too difficult, right? And then if I click on them, it can open up this window interface where I can have, you know, more, more actions I can take. So I'm just going to mine a bunch because... I want to get to uh, mining because because again like um, I imagine the way you're playing it as a designer is you have this open right but for me as a player blacksmithing you can can now be accessed in the skills menu if you want the equipment window you can be able to equip items as well as your stat totals and equipable inventory okay cool cool oh sweet I actually have equipment that's awesome uh, okay I, I have to mine I guess I really love this concept, honestly. Uh, I, I, I think getting to see some of the more uh, complexities of this has been really is really cool. I do wonder if you could make this a true idle game, right? So this experience is very graphics heavy, very, you know, and I think you have that little window, um, the window version instead of the full screen, which I think it's good that you start it. Um, I could try that out. I'm not going to do it because I'm, I'm streaming this, but or I'm recording it. All could be fine. We'll have randomized stats. It will improve as you craft more of that item. On tooltips, you'll see quality rating as well as proficiency. Quality indicates how close that item is to its max potential, how, max, how high that max potential can go. Okay. So I got some stone gloves. 
Oh, I got low grade, but they're yellow. Hold control for details. Base value 21 gold. Base value 21. So why is this one showing up as yellow? Two zero junk equipment. How do you even move your fingers? I wish I knew. Um. Oh, interesting that it all increases your spin rate. I like that so much. Poor. So we got poor stone grubs. Uh. So I'm having a little trouble distinguishing the difference and how much what's good or not. So I kind of am just looking at the stats. So I have my poor stone gloves. This is just stone equipment. I think that's my ability. Low grade stone gloves, I get some strength and I get some expertise. So to some degree, the orange seems better. So I'm going to equip that. Where's my inventory? I'm going to press I. Oh, no. Let me press. How do I remember C for character? Can I press C for character? Okay, so some of these shortcuts really are great, right? Um, there's my gloves. So I can spin with more power. Um, stone equipment applied. Okay, so here we go. i got to cue this up. I'm going to make some more stones. Uh, I'm gonna chisel more. I'm gonna chisel even more. Okay. Um, I do. I do wish I had um, the progress bars, cause like, if I'm close to leveling up mining, um, that is important to me, right? So I'm kind of I'm watching these progress bars pretty closely, um, and I and I don't like having my cluttered like the full window. I don't need to see all this. Oh, I can craft other stuff now. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and make a helmet and boots. And it seems like I have to make multiples of them to get good stuff, as I'm guessing. So I'm just going to keep making... Oh, I'm missing. Oh, I need more stone, I guess. Oh my god, I need to mine more! Ah, I see how this is... How, ah, this is, this is good! I love that it's driving that good feedback loop where I'm like, okay, I want that... I want something, so we're getting to that loop of... I want this thing. Now I have to do this task to get this thing, right? And so that's 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 the golden place. I do wish my um, Q was a little bit bigger at this point. Um, I do. Oh wow, light rest is not cutting it. Uh, so then I need to do chisel stone. I do wish my Q was getting a little bit bigger at this point, because because again, like. At a certain phase, I kind of want to start letting, you know, as an idle game, I want to let it kind of eventually. It depends on your goal as a developer. Do you want this to be a background game? Do you want it to be consistently in the foreground? Um, but I'm actually really enjoying how this is developing. I think you do, you've made some awesome changes. Um, I like being able to finally experience kind of the more complex progression. Uh, I'm going to get this going. I'm going to get this going. I'm going to chisel. I'm going to spin. Do some moderate spins. Queue up one of those. And then we'll probably do like... I probably need two rests after that. And I'll do that. Do I have a better rest yet? So I do wish that some of these things would just upgrade. I only have light rest. So some of these menus are overlapping quite strangely here. So this might be a bug. I should move my little picture. Whoops. I can just move this up here so you can see. But if I'm going between these, the menus overlap a little strangely. Oh, wait. Something is showing up in the background. Hold the phone. Now that it's full screen, is it actually going to work? Can I remove my monitor? Oh, this is cool. Great, so it is working now. Okay, so I think it just had to be on like full screen view or something. Good, that's great. I love that. I want better boots. So I want better boots. So I'm gonna smith some stone boots here. Smith stone leggings ability. So I do like that I'm getting some pretty good unlocks. I wish some of this stuff would just show up. Um, wait, whoa, what's all this? I have a bunch of bars I can smith now. Whoa, what? Uh, 
I wonder if rather than having these nested menus, if this just becomes a sidebar. Like this becomes, this plus button just sits on the side. And if I want to do like mining, I can just click from here to this sub menu rather than having to go two levels deep. So I do feel like the UI here is a little wonky. Um, okay, so these make leggings, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to do a bunch of mining. I'm just going to mine a bunch. So I'm actually glad I'm seeing this getting bigger and bigger, which I do love to see. Um, I'm going to mine a bunch. I guess I'll give it a couple of spins and I'll mine some more. Okay. Um, I wish I could see my progress. <laughs> I keep on looking up to like see my progress bars on the upper left side. And I wish I could have my little action menu. Like This plus menu should just be flipped vertically and put on the side of the screen below the progress bars. And that might save you just a lot of this. You, you have a very clean UI. I love that it can just get reduced to this very basic element. Um, but I do think that there's some opportunity as expert. Has the world gone mad? <laughs> Birds aren't real. They're not. Birds aren't real? Man, it's really driving that home. So I, I know this is something you're testing, and you're just adding some of these things, but um, is anyone even reading this? I am. Is anyone even reading this? I am. I am. Anti-rest movement claims that resting... Yeah, as I read that one already, is the root of all evil. Oh, my God. What's their problem with resting? I like resting. I'm going to rest after this. I'm going to take a nap. I'm not going to take a nap. I'm going to go to sleep. But yeah, so again, like I kind of want to be able to access all this cool stuff, right? I just don't know what the heck, how to get to it. Copper? Is that right? Copper? Oh, I can't. Okay, I can't. Oh, God, those even have submenus? Wow. Can I Can I do different stone chisels? No. Okay. I have all these things, but I don't know what I can do with them. Uh, I see this. I have stone equipment. I have three of items of stone equipment. That's great. So I guess I need to go back to my skills. I need to check these. Okay, so I have some blacksmithing skill. I can make some pants now. So I guess I'll do that instead of this. Missing required item? What am I missing? Chisel stones. All right, I guess I got to chisel a lot of stones. All right, that's fine. All right, then I'll make some pants. So then something is... It's locked. It's locked. Okay. I really do wish I could press I for inventory and some of these keyboard shortcuts are really like... Like C, I, you know... S for skills, you know, like... Or spin, like... I kind of want more ways, more inputs into the system besides just my mouse. I'm definitely seeing that. I should probably write these notes down, but I'll, I'll summarize it all at the end, and then we can... Oops, I forgot to put this away. Um, I'll summarize this all at the end. Um, and, I'll, and I'll write it in the YouTube comments to my knowledge. Yeah, I'll, I'll just... I'll remember what I can remember. Um... <clears throat> And uh, let's see, can I chisel whatever this is, this white stuff? No. I guess I have to level up my mining maybe before I can get better stuff. So if I go to my mining, can I mine anything else? No, I can't. So I really need to level up my mining. Does spinning even matter anymore? Spinning seems to matter. Active stat bonuses. So it gives me some stuff. Not sure exactly what it gives me. Blacksmithing. So how do I level up my mining? Do I just only mine is to level up my mining? Wow, I'm about to run out. Okay. Uh, I guess... The art of smashing stones. That's true. The art of turning raw ore into useful stuff. The art of making it go faster. Well, roundedness. General indicator of power. You earn a small whenever you earn XP in any other skill. Okay, so I'm going to do a spin because I'm guessing that gives me the most. 300 prowess. So I don't know what all these stat bonuses contribute to. Maybe if I go to my character or maybe if I go to my abilities. 
Light rest. That's all I got there. Those are my competency. Okay, so those are just a different view here. Okay. This I can't see. Okay, okay. Uh, I got some pants, but these don't seem that much better than anything else I've already gotten. Maybe I'll make a few more cuts of pants. I keep on pressing I to get to my inventory. I guess equipment. It's like my character. Okay, so I want to put some pants on. And I got some blue ones. So I'm assuming that's just an indicator of them being better than the brown ones. Or like the these seem like common. I don't know how to sell. Can I sell? Or is that what trashing it is? Um, I'll just do... I wish I could drag drag to sell. How do I? Mark all unmarked is trash. No. No. Unmark it. I don't want it to be trash. I want my st wait. Okay, this is this is kind of blowing my mind this inventory management system. How do I make it not trash? Trash. How do I make not trash? Unmark is trash. I have to right click on it. Okay. Okay. Good gracious. Uh, I'm going to make some more boots because I don't like having crappy boots. Oh, what do I need? I need more stone. Chisel me some stone. So I'm going to delete all trash, I guess. Oh, it doesn't sell? It doesn't give me gold? Oh, that's some BS. So that's like pretty frustrating to not be able to like earn gold, uh, I will say. At least f from me, for me, it feels very frustrating that I can't like, uh, I can't sell anything out of the gate. And it sounds like that's something, I'm guessing it's something I'm going to unlock later, just from the UI cues. Um, but that's still a little unsatisfying, I would say. I'm just going to chisel a ton of stone. I'm going to make, I'm just going to try to level up my gear. I also would... I also do think I need some basic cues about what matters when, right? Because to some degree, like, why shouldn't I just keep spinning like crazy? I don't know what's most important. Is my gear more important? Is my competency more important? So, for example, I might want to see on, like, so, so just like we have our meters and our actions on the left-hand side of the UI, potentially on the right-hand side of the UI we could have just like a few ideas for quests and goals, right? Which is, you know, get all your stone gear by mining and chiseling. You know, like complete your stone set. Um, you know, because I, I don't really know what I should be doing for like the progression. Should I be looking for a stone amulet? Should I be looking for a stone ring? I, I mean, I don't really know, right? Um, so I'm just going to chisel in mine and chisel in mine and chisel in mine. Or like, hey, increase your regen. Or, or like, so like my stamina, I know I generally have earned more, but I don't really know where that's coming from, right? So I see my efficiency and my craftsmanship, but I don't know how these infect my ability to spin faster. Crit chance. What does crit chance mean? in relation to spinning faster. Am I going to fight monsters? Are there going to be battles? Uh, maybe. Um, but again, like there's there's a ton of stats, which I which get to be kind of like Diablo to the point where you just eventually don't even know what they mean. You're just sort of like, as long as it's going up, that's good. But to some degree, I, I, I do, in that layer, understand, okay, there is something that this impacts, right? So it looks like I'm almost about to level up mining. So again, we're kind of getting to like the slow zone, right? Um, so I did like that the initial speed picked up. I think that can almost get slowed down just like a smidge more. Um, but I kind of am just sort of like, hey, you know, these, once I get to like level 10, it takes a long time. Look at that mining just goes so slow. Get a few rests in, do some more mining. Oh, come on. I'm just watching this meter go up so slowly. Oh. 
Alright, so I'll queue that up. I don't really know what else I should be doing. Maybe I'll chisel some stones. I don't know. Um... Abel, okay, we got some things. We got some things. We got some things. Queuing. Okay, so that took a little while to get, right? And so one of the, the I one of the goals of an idle game, right, is that it's achieving these benchmarks when you're not looking at the screen. And so maybe I'm not doing certain things here. But it does feel like Every time I'm taking an action, I want to feel a pretty solid impact, and I'm not getting that. Right? Talent trees have been unlocked. Go to your skills window to, to check this out. Click the talents to access your talent tree. Skill points. You can earn skill points to spend on each talent. Okay. Each skill has its own talent tree. Okay. Cool. Got it. Talent trees. Um, competency. Competent. Yeah, I do want that. Increase stat gains from skill levels by 10 per point. Resting adds a buff that increases effectiveness by 50%. Eh. I haven't needed, well, hasty. Improves the benefit of haste stat by 10%. Oh, I want things to go faster, that's for sure. Combo wombo. Okay, so I have to, like, literally, so I'm going to still try to, like, keep doing stuff in the background here because... I don't want to wait for a bunch of bars when I don't have to. Um, energetic, increase max stamina by five per point. Um, I'll just put enough in there to like see what else these things are. Invigorated, increases effective vigor stat by five per point. Effects of vigor stat. One competence. See, I don't know exactly what the vigor stat does. I'll just throw one in there. Combo Wombo. Every time you cast the same ability twice from one row, they book 10 times faster. Okay, yes. I, I want that. I don't want that. Oh, I used it all. Okay. Can I undo? The other talents depend on that talent. Okay, so if I take this one away, I want that. Um, this thing... I'll put just more in Combo Wombo. Okay, so now I have a bunch of points to spend here. So try spinning. Uh, okay, so I don't always spin when I do. If you have the cast spin ability... Okay. I like, so I love the flavor text you have here. I think that's really good. Every ability you perform in any skill at 250 RPM per point. All I do is spin, spin. Wow, I already burned through that. Not enough skill points. Okay. What? So I guess does that take more? Not enough skill points. How many do I need? Five spinning... So, I don't know how many of these skill points I need, so it's very confusing. So, again, like, a lot of this is going to be building, like, a really streamlined UI, which is going to be tough. All right, so it looks like I have two morning levels. So that goes four, six, eight. Okay, so then it goes, it just, it's like a exponential curve there. You do not gain blacksmithing experience for obtaining bars in this way. Two mining levels per talent. 25 total levels against 5 chance per point in the double base. The double base or 5 chance per point. Okay. Okay. It reduces base stamina cost of all mining abilities. Okay, so every time I level up, I guess I gotta, I gotta get back on this here. Make some stones. Okay. Um, blacksmith's apprentice. Yeah, I'm not super sure. So, again, there's so much stuff. Um, I'm just going to kind of level up some of these things. Smelt it and dealt it. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to try to get one in here. I just want to get one in each of them just to kind of, like, spread my... To get some extra perks rolling. All right. Mm, unlocked copper mining. Okay, I think that'll be really good, to my knowledge. Because then I can make some copper barbs. Um, did I ever get to blacksmith, like, anything more than what I did? No, not really. So I already got good gloves, so I don't want to make any more gloves. So let's just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Set hockey. Yes, please! Oh my gosh! 
Oh my goodness gracious. There it is. Set. Oh my god. You should definitely have default hotkeys, by the way. <laughs> You should have a lot of your defaults preset, right? Because like you're not using a like a completely new UI language, so you should set some stuff in here already. You should have preset UI. Oh my Gandhi! Oh my gosh, that's transformative. Oh yeah, right click. Gotta freaking right click. Come on, let me set the hotkey, you stinker. Oh, it's a menu, so I won't do that. Okay. That's a little... Uh, I think you should just have the menus in a different bar, right? Like, these should just be actions. So, like, again, I think one of the problems with your UI is you mix menus and actions. I like that we have my buffs here, but this, like, thing was there for a long time. Um, so four to first distinct at five RPM. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like two, 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 three. I want to start mining copper, and I want to start refining it, I guess. So I'm gonna like rest, 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 rest. I don't know if it's still stacking up. Okay, not enough stamina. Okay, cool. Take some work to mine copper. Good gracious. See if I can do two. And I'll do four stacks on resting. Do I not have a better resting thing yet? That's a little annoying. No, I don't. That's a little annoying. I kind of want to get the better rest. Like, the light rest spamming is a little... Cause like right it doesn't feel like i'm getting better right like i want the efficiency gains and i'm not getting them in certain areas as fast all right so let's go ahead and uh smelt some of this can i not smelt copper chisel let's just see how do i let's do blacksmithing oh my gosh i haven't even unlocked it yet i guess so i don't have a way to work copper yet so i have to get probably blacksmithing to level 10. Ugh. Um, okay, so I guess I'll just look at my inventory and see, like, what I have that I don't like. So my helmet kind of sucks, so I'll make some helmets here. Make stone helm, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 ledge end. Do unlock stone chain, yeah, okay, so that's what they wanted me to do, okay. So if I go to my inventory here, oh my god. Uh, are any of these better? I can't really tell. I see an arrow. No, I don't. I wish it was like World of Warcraft where it had an up and down arrow here. Um, you just got to like, you know, because I will work for better stuff. But I don't necessarily know like if it's worth it for me to min-max at this phase. So I just needed to tell me this is better or worse. And I wish it would compare to the thing in my inventory right now. So like whenever you mouse over it. It should tell me that, uh, yeah, I have no idea. Ugh, I just don't want to go back and forth. All right, this looks a little better. I don't know. I'm just going to trash all this stuff. Yeah, I, I, I just don't want to have to check what's there, so I'm just going to trash it. Uh... I wish I could more easily, like, I wish I could, like, long press, like, hold down the mouse to, like, or drag it into a trash can. So, like, I wish I could just, like, drag trash. I guess you can, but I don't want to have to press the approve menu. I wish there was a zone, right? So, like, the reason why you have to do this is because if I accidentally drag it to the wrong area, it will, you know, the player will get pissed off if they lose it. But if I have a trash can up in the corner, and I just drag it up to the corner, and I know that that's the trash can, and it appears when I do that, um, that might be a better uh, UI experience. I'm just going to trash this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to equip this thing, so I have to go to my, like, mining. No, I have to go to my 
Uh, where's my blacksmithing? Where's my blacksmithing? No, I have to build my stone chest plates. So let's go eight 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 to make a bunch of them because uh, I keep on pressing I for inventory. That's so. Can I put a hotkey on these if I right click on them? No. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Uh, I mean, I think in the settings you should just have your hotkeys. Like this just should be there should be a place where I can change and edit my hotkeys. I believe. Um, but maybe I'm just being a, a crotchety old crotchety person, but I do feel like that's a gap. Has everyone gone mad? Excessive fidget spinning. Oh, I like that it's smoking. I love the particle effects. I want it to go even faster. All right. So now I'm going to go to my inventory and my equipment. So I've got some chest pieces. But they kind of suck. So I want to make more chest pieces. Missing required item. What's required? What's required? I'm so confused. Oh, there's a lot of menus. I, I do think like your your biggest struggle will be to simplify the information to make it easier. What am I missing? Chiseled stone ingot times five. So I guess I burned through all my chisel stones. So I guess it just burns a ton of them. That's fine. Missing required item. Okay, God. Have to do like a ton of these to get a ton of these. I see. Okay, good. I got a rare one, I think. Unless red is bad. Um. Oh, can I not? Crit chance. I don't know. It seems good. I don't know if that's bad or if that's normal. Forceful. Ninety-three gold. Okay, all the base value golds are the same. That's a little tough. It's because I'm trying to use the base gold value as an indicator of general goodness, but there is no summary indicator of general goodness. Uh, I just don't know. Um, zero percent crit chance. Okay, so that just seems kind of crappy because it seems to have some stuff. So I'm just gonna throw that away. All right, I'm gonna make some more chest plates. I don't have a god. I don't have the reagent items. That's a little frustrating. All right, I'm just gonna do some copper stuff maybe. What do I need for copper stuff? Can I? Am I level smith? No, <laughs> just I have to just blacksmith stuff to level up randomly. Okay, got it. All right, that's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, see, now these progress bars, I think, are slowing down a little too fast. I feel like this is an exponential curve. Um, I think I should have gotten to copper. I mean, I've been playing this game for 30 minutes, 43 minutes, which is awesome because I've been enjoying it. But I've been playing this for 43 minutes and I have not gotten to copper items yet. You gotta be kidding me. Let the exponential slowness kick off later. But I'm not bought in, like, so right, like, I'm not bought in enough to this game to, like, grind it out that much more. Oh, I need to blacksmith stuff. That's what it is. Maybe I'll just make some more chest plates. Does this level up my blacksmithing faster? No, not really. I guess still chiseling stone. A little bit faster, but not that much faster. Those need to make a way bigger difference. So I think, like, if you are going to have the exponential curve, you need to have those items match it, right? Like, I am getting a little bit more experience from making a... God, not enough stamina. I'm getting a little bit more experience from making enough, uh, you know, chest plates or whatever, but not that much. Can I do this yet? No, missing regions. Okay, can I do this yet? Uh, blacksmithing. It's going so slow. All right, more missing required items. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then one. <laughs> so, I mean, to some degree, it would be nice if the queue could get, like, really long. Or if I could just, like, program a queue. I know you have some of these, like, Q5, Q Max things. Um, I just think you haven't solved the UI for that yet. Would be the thing that I am... Full? How's my inventory full? Uh, come on. 
All right, so I'm guessing this green thing is, this is a brighter green, so that seems better than the less bright green. I'm just not even gonna check. I'm just gonna delete it. I wish I could sell. I hate that I have to delete stuff. That's really brutal. We got another crappy one, I guess. Um, all right, I wanna get to freaking copper crafting or I'm gonna lose my temper. All right, let's just see. How close am I? Oh my God, I'm so close. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, freaking finally smelt copper. There we go. Thank you for goodness sake. Smelt it. Oh my God, it's gonna take up so much stamina. <laughs> oh, cringe, come on. All right, I wanna be able to build something with my copper now. I cannot. I just have to build up an inventory. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and stop. I do like that my fidget spinner is catching fire, even though I haven't really been spinning that much. It's just been kind of getting crazier in the background. Uh, I'm going to get to 100,000 RPM. That's my goal. All right, I did it. Strong spin ability. Okay, I guess that was the thing I had to do. Really, you are leaning really heavily on those exponential curves, which... For better or for worse, uh, I don't even have enough stamina for it. Come on, man. Let's see. Come on, man. Give me the stamina. I just want to do one strong spin. There we go. Is it going to just, like, drain my bar? So I'm at 102,000. It's going to go up to 105,000. So I'm guessing until I get to a million RPM, it's not really going to change much. I can I can appreciate that. Uh, it's interesting though. Okay, so um, I loved some of the additions you made. I still think that there are a few gaps in terms of. So let me let me go back to my rating. I think this little addition is really nice. It honestly gives me something to look at when I'm waiting for progress bars, which I think is really important. Um, I do think the queue could be a lot longer, and they could have. So rather than it just stacking up, you could just have like an X5 and then an X2, uh, you know, on the item. So like, for example, instead of stacking up stone, 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 this could just be like stone X5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then once I choose a different thing, this could be X1, 2, 3, 4. And that would clean up your UI and let you make this list a little bit longer, a little bit sooner, right? Um, because that's kind of the goal, right? Is that we're, we're getting a bunch of stuff, but it's not, um, and I'm probably gonna have to rest a bunch after that. I'm gonna mine a bunch of copper, uh, and I'm probably just gonna switch this out for the stone, because who cares about stone anymore? Stone's last, yesterday's news, man. It's last today's news. I'm gonna make some helms, because I still have to level up blacksmithing. Or actually, I'm just gonna make some of this. I don't wanna do this. No, no, no. Oh my god. But yeah, um... I think there is, a, you know, there is the compulsion to, like, build more stuff and to, like, make this until I complete my build. So I do think that you are leveraging some of the idle game stuff. Uh, I will say the menuing is a little still a little tricky, especially with, like, triple nested menus, right? So if I go to, like, copper, this is, like, three levels deep. Uh, that's a lot. So to some degree, like, this level, this level one menu just needs to be another sidebar here. And then it can expand out into the menus inward. Uh, and likewise with this, I need to, I, I don't want to have to reference the skills tab to see my progress. So this also needs to be, I would say, in a sidebar here. And then um, these all need to be able to have hot hotkeys and shortcuts. So they should have default hotkeys. These should have default shortcuts. And then there should be a trash just in the upper right corner. So I don't have to do that. You know, if I don't need to. All right, but overall, my fidget spinner's burning. I think that's pretty cool. This fidget spinner's burning. I played longer than I expected. I was only planning on paying 30 minutes. I played 50 minutes. So obviously, I think there is something here. I think there is something that kind of hooks you, right? In terms of I want to see the next thing. I want to do the next thing. And the graphics are absolutely gorgeous, right? Um, so I don't think there's any issues there. So yeah, in terms of my rating, I would say this has gone up to a 7 out of 10. Um, I would say definitely 7 out of 10. I would love to see, you know, and I'm, I'm obviously a writer, right, uh, and a narrative designer in games, so I would obviously be very curious to, to get some sort of narrative as to why me spinning this fidget spinner is meaningful, because I think that's part of the goal of the game is to make it ironic, 
that you're like, you know, because it's just like any idle game. You're kind of wasting your time. Any fidget spinner, you're kind of wasting your time, you know. Uh, and even in like the, the, the flavor text you're adding up here, you're kind of, you know, joking about that. But to some degree, um, I wouldn't let that stop you from, you know, adding a little bit of complexity here or making it, you know, adding some more just adding more because i think you do have a lot of opportunity this is this is engaging but then part of the change you're making to the idle game is you're making me work you know like i cannot look away from this i can maybe do a queue i can do like two two three 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 you know or whatever you know i wish i could do backspace I wish i could do backspace to clear some of these things and I could do like two, 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 but then I gotta be right back at it pretty soon, or nothing's gonna advance, right? Like I have to be. This is not an idle game. This is an active game using idle mechanics. So you're using. So like, nope, not enough stamina. Now I have to interface with it. So cookie, cookie clicker could get away with just flavor text because after the interface, there's nothing more, right? But the one risk of this is you are you have quite a few interaction demands, right? Like, I gotta interact with this. I gotta start pressing 333, and I gotta press 222, and you know, I gotta, I gotta start re-engaging every couple of seconds here um, because of like these meters I'm managing. So I do think that there is a place and there is some opportunity to say, hey, maybe I can introduce some narrative, introduce some story to like, or even if it's just silly, like, you know, kind of hyperbolistic, like, you know, and that's what Cookie Clicker did, right? If you look at their game, they have this grandma apocalypse and this whole thing that happens and it's crazy and wild and, and it just makes no sense, but it's just silly and it's something beyond clicking cookies, right? And I think that's the goal is like, you want it to ironically start as just spinning a wheel or spinning a fidget spinner, but you want it to evolve to something beyond that. But overall, I think this is a cool project. Um, I will go ahead and post this up on YouTube, and I hope it's helpful as you go about your your revisions and your future uh, development. Um, you know, I think uh, it's awesome that you're releasing it pretty soon. Um, I would just say, you know, the biggest things, default the hop keys, move some of the menus out of these nested windows and, and just give me the important information, like the things I care about, is my leveling right like so you only need these top three that i have activated and then maybe the fact that i have one locked here and then you know maybe this plus menu just gets flipped over and put on the side uh, and then just a little bit i mean this is a very ui focused game um so you do need a lot of i guess you do have these quests right hmm journey map I guess this does kind of show me so I think maybe this like journey indicator maybe should be on this side of the screen in miniature like where it's just like some of these things and the last thing that I think is the most important thing is I want to be able to click this gosh darn fidget spinner to make it spin so if it just defaults to like the the strongest spin in my little spin queue that's fine but gosh darn it, I want to be able to play with my fidget spinner toy. Because remember, part of building a game is building a toy. I don't know if you've read the um, Jesse Shell's uh, Lenses of Game Design, but it's a very insightful book. And one of the best insights is, remember, you want to make an object that is tactile and interesting to deal with. At its core, that is, it's still a toy. And just like a kid using a toy, even if there's no systems and no mechanics and no upside and no kind of story we're telling about progression, um, it's just fun to, to fiddle with. And I think that's one of the things that you have, you, like the center of your game is a toy, but you still need to make it fun to fiddle with and you need to give me some sound effects like, like where's like the, maybe I turn them off, I don't think so. And like that's something I do. Mute effects. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we should. Oh, I, maybe I do have. Oh, but we do have the spinning. We do have the spinning. Okay. So I, I turned them off because it was like a little cringe. Um, so like that consistent sound maybe is not what you're looking for. Let me let me listen here. Uh, let me just do like it's just let me do a normal spin. 
Can I do a weak spin? Okay, so the weak spin doesn't trigger a sound effect, right? So, like, this constant fuzzing, like, that background hiss is less interesting of a sound effect than an interactive sound effect, which is, like, like, rest, like, ah, or something like that. Like, you know, the, the goal for the sound effect is not just to be some background noise. It's to give me another source of feedback on my actions, right? Because this game is all about action feedback, action feedback, action feedback, and then that leads me to a progression. So, like, this base, this baseline hissing doesn't really make a big difference, right? Um, I, and I think it just interrupts your music. Because uh, I, I, I think it should be there when you take an action, but then it should eventually fade out to nothing. You should use some of those fade dynamics to make it a little bit more uh, manageable, but you should focus a lot of your sound design on, like, clink, 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 and, and making it fun and making it feel like you're playing with a toy. And, and think of it like those sound bars, you know, that they used to have those, like, sound pads where you would say, hey, what are all, like, the Simpsons sounds? And they would be like, you know, the the belching sound from Bart and then, you know, whatever. Um, so that's one of the ways. So you, like your goal as a designer is how many ways can I make this as interactive and as something I want to tactilely play with as much as humanly possible. Some of that sound interaction and you'll have more people leaving the sound on if you, you know, cause this noise sound is, is great, but it's not really adding anything, right? It's not giving me feedback. Um, so center on those things, tighten that feedback loop. And I still think the later progression does still take a little too long. Um, so those would be things to think about. I'm excited to see what you do with the game and, and best of luck in your future work.